Press-ups and that he's never worked so hard a bit. Steve McMahon rang me, we'd played Wolves the night before, he said, look, we've agreed a fee, if I was you I'd go and talk to Man City. I said, all right, has any other clubs bid it? He said, yeah, there has been bid, he said, trust me, just go and speak to Man City. So I got in my car, drove up to, um, what was the hotel called? What's the, uh, the one where the golf course is? Oh, um, Mottram Mall. So I've got halfway up and, and Steve McMahon rang me again, he said, look, he said, just keep it on the quiet, there is other clubs interested, keep, keep it quiet. And then I thought, it's a little bit too late because I actually had a sponsored Swindon car with my name down the side. It, it wasn't the best car in the world, but <laughs> name down the side. So I ended up going up going, met Franny Lee and Frank Clark in, in Mottram Mall. Finally agreed the deal, Franny walked out a couple of times. I don't know why, because I weren't asking for a lot to be fair, but maybe it was part of the game that chairman play. Frank said, no, let's get this done. I signed, had a meal with Frank and my wife and, and Franny. Went back to my room, the biggest suite you've ever seen. God, it was unbelievable. I had four bed, four poster bed, dining room, walk-in wardrobe, bathroom to die for. I thought, hang on a minute. Kevin Walks arrived here. Arrived. I thought, I'm at a proper football club. Here. <coughs> Gone to training the next day, had a medical and stuff. Um, and that's another story, by the way. <laughs> but um, come back after training, went to the reception. I said, oh, Kevin Allock, I've just signed for Man City. Can I have my room for my suite, please? She gave me a key. She went, oh, no, sorry, we've changed. We've changed. I thought, oh, they must have put me in another one. Went up. It was the smallest room you've <laughs> ever seen. I, I could actually run the bath laying on the bed. Um, <laughs> Good to meet you, Les. And you, sir. Mm. Very How nice to meet you. Smashing. And uh, thank you for uh, allowing us to uh, have a tour around these amazing uh, stables here at Newmarket, Fitzroy House, of course. Yeah, so this is the colours room. This is where all the owner's silks are kept and all the paddock sheets. Um, uh, Mr. Gredley, who's a big owner of ours, UNEX Group, who owns Big Orange, who's won a couple of decent races this year. Joey Bartler used to have one here, did he? Joey B did, yes. Um, had his first horse called Blue Monkey. Um, what were his colours? <laughs> his colour, I can't remember now. Um, I honestly can't remember, but I think something green was in them. And he's got a few horses now, but doesn't actually have one with me at the moment. Yeah. But when he sees this interview, I'm sure he'll <laughs> send another one. No, I still see him a bit. And he's, wow. there's, there's, that's the Queen's paddock sheet. Wow. Obviously a thrill to have that. You know, great honour to have her in the yard. And here are the monarchs. So wow. They have to go and be dry cleaned. Um, after every all, race? After every race, because all the gold braid and... Tassel, cool. they're very special, and the jockeys, you know, it's a real honour for them. They've never ridden for the Queen, mm -hmm. so when they come into the paddock, they look six inches taller. You know, it's obviously a real thrill for them to. Oh, she's by Galileo works. out of Sariska. Are you? Are you? Aren't you? Is Galileo a famous? Uh, Galileo's, Galileo's a the best sire in the world, or one of them. Right up there with the best sire of Australia this year, and. Countless other good horses. What kind of temperament will she have? She's got it much better than her. Her mother was a bit cantankerous. You couldn't do this to Sariska. No. Oh, and she's an absolute darling. <laughs>
Manuel, with two points on the board and three games to play, what's it going to take for your team to get out of this group? Is it going to be three wins? We don't know because it will depend uh, what, the, uh, what the other teams do also. I think that we have, uh, the, well, it's impossible to be sure, but I think that this group will be deciding the last game against Rome in, in Italy. So we'll see what, uh, what happens. We, to to, we are going to try to win our two games now at home and uh, we'll see what the other teams do, but, but I'm sure that this will decide in the last, in the last game. Estábamos sentados en la mesa y me acuerdo que estaba él, Garay y, y Formica, uno de Juan Yul también. Y estaba él al lado mío, viste, ahí 
Y yo lo miraba como diciendo, no, no, no sabía ni quién era. ¿viste? Entonces hablaban de una zapatilla, de una zapatilla nada y no sé qué, ¿viste? Que, que Garay le decía que buena estaba, no sé qué. Y Leo en un momento, bueno, yo no sé, dice, sí, sí, me, me la habían traído, no sé, me, estaba buena de Estados Unidos, ¿viste? Cuando dijo Estados Unidos yo empecé, ¿y este dónde es? ¿Viste? Y bueno, hasta que en un momento no aguantaba porque le quería preguntar y le dije, ¿vos cómo te llamas? Me dijo Leo. Y me dice, ¿tu apellido es Messi? Me dice, ah, yo lo conocí. Y ahí me dijo, y le digo, pero, pero tu apellido, porque no, tampoco me sonaba, pensando, a ver si me sonaba. Messi, y se reía, y ahí se empezó a reír. Y ahí pegamos una onda y se cagaban de risa porque, claro, no lo conocí.